Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and last week Blender was supposed to release Blender 4.1. In fact, I did the following video in which I said Blender 4.1 should be released today, or now, in my defense, I said should be released today because unfortunately it wasn't. But this video is still relevant because it actually was just kind of a, a breakdown of the coolest new features coming in this particular release. One feature that didn't make it, sadly, was EV Next. But on top of that, I talked about some of my favorite things. The ability to drag and drop in file formats. I've been waiting for 3D import via drag and drop since Blender was conceived. It is partly here. Uh, it only works for certain formats. Hopefully all of the rest come in time. Great new feature. On top of that, they there's changes to the auto smooth. Some people are going to like them. Some people are going to hate them, but it's definitely had a ramification. Geometry nodes got geometry node baking, which is a lovely new optimization trick and a number of new geometry nodes were added as well. We got uh, GPU acceleration for the denoiser. Uh, this made a massive difference to the denoising speed when it comes to cycles renderer. And we've got full feature parity except for render passes when it comes to render viewport compositing. Definitely all nice features. You want to learn a little bit more about all of those things, I do have this video. I will link it down below. But what we're going to do now is actually jump into the release notes because Blender 4.1 is here. No, really this time. It is available. You can go and download it immediately. I apologize for the um, the, the mix-up last time. I've never seen them miss a release date like that. And with uh, GDC going on, I unfortunately pre-produced that video. So it didn't turn out the way that I'd like things to. But after that delay, it is available. Blender.org, you can go ahead and download it. And we're going to take a, just a quick look at the release notes that are available with this particular release. Blender always do really nice release notes. So I'm going to just kind of do a quick look of what is available here. Now, again, one of the nice new features is baking in geometry nodes. Basically everything to this side of the baking is pre-cached or baked. So uh, it makes the geometry node tree or network of nodes so much faster because everything to this side of the baked node doesn't need to be updated. So it's making performance much nicer. Also smaller file sizes and other things going on there as well. We also have some new nodes in place like the menu switch node allows you to uh, Create custom enum menus, allowing switching between options in the group interface. We have other new geometry nodes, such as split instances, index switch, sort elements. Uh, Musgrave was moved uh, into the noise texture uh, mode, so it's, it's now a feature of another mode. Uh, and yeah, so definitely some improvements there. And then we have smooth by angle. This is part of the changes to the way that mesh smoothing works. There is now a geometry nodes operator for actually doing the auto smooth functionality via geometry nodes and a bunch of other improvements to geometry nodes as well. Uh, cycles definitely got some improvements, but the biggest one is by far and away the new open image noise. Um, it's GPU accelerated, the unsupported hardware, the unsupported hardware sadly is AMD for now, still being worked on. But if you've got an NVIDIA, Intel or M powered Mac, uh, you can get this hardware accelerated GPU. Check out that other video so you can see the performance ramifications. It is pretty profound, the difference that it makes. Uh, then Compositor again, uh, we've got Viewport now has, for Viewport compositing, has support for CryptoMat, Defocus, Vector Blur, and Keying Screen. Those were all missing nodes before. So the only thing missing now is Render Layer Passes. Uh, and otherwise, you can do the same things in real-time Viewport compositing as you could do in the standalone compositor. Very cool changes there. A new property size was added to the Pixelate node. No, oh, node. Uh, a new option was added to the performance panel to allow choosing between full or automatic precision, uh, and then a bunch of other improvements to the compositor as well. Uh, and then we've got a number of improvements in the uh, insertion and animation keyframe support. Uh, so hierarchies, bone collections are now hierarchical. Uh, collections are shown in a tree rather than as a flat view where they can be rearranged and nested via drag and drop. Uh, new selection mode allows you to easily switch bones without leaving the paint weight, uh, weight paint mode. Available when you enter the weight paint mode on a mesh. Uh, can be accessed via the bone icon in the header or pressing the three hotkey. Uh, WYSIWYG motion pass can now be generated in screen space from camera view, making it much easier for animators to see how arcs will look in the final piece. Uh, graph editor improvements, so the way that uh, sliding and, and key adjustments are done have all been improved with the new auto lock functionality, scale from neighbor, expose, uh, and so on. A new operator was added to the graph editor to bake channels with the option to specify a frame range to bake and uh, more. Uh, new animation and rigging goodies are there as well. Video sequencer is now faster than ever supporting sleek scopes and improved image filtering for a smoother editing experience. 
Uh, and then we got auto nice uh, image movie filtering when scaling rotating strips has been greatly improved strips now automatically used to the most appropriate filter based on the scaling factor uh, and uh, other improvements to the nonlinear editing as well. Uh, so yeah, there is uh, just a bunch going on here. Blender 4.1 can now export armatures and shape keys as USD skeletons and blend shapes. Additionally, support has been added to import scene graph uh, instancing and point instancing. Importing USD can now be extended with Python scripts through hooks. Uh, and other improvements to USD as well. And yeah, that is uh, the, the top level stuff. A number of other other improvements in here, smaller things, but still very, very nice. Uh, once again, if you are interested, I did do that video where I kind of highlighted, I think the five coolest new features and how to use them in Blender 4.1. Uh, so this one sadly is a week late, but it is available for download now. Sorry for the confusion from the earlier video. I would recommend checking that one out as well. But yeah, Blender 4.1, you can go and download it right now and I suggest you do so. Let me know what your favorite feature is. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.